good evening friends i hope you are all doing well i am also fine <clears throat> today i am going to show you how you can install uh, let's encrypt in debian 12 uh, with php8 so debian is a operating system and there are a lot of variations of debian like ubuntu that is also debian based so basically like we see uh, two sorts of genetic operating systems one that is debian based which is Ubuntu, Kali Linux, they are all Debian based. They're using like EPT. Another one is like Red Hat based, which is CentOS, like Amazon Linux. So Red Hat, those are all like YUM based, right? So um, let's let's go into the deep dive on the De Debian based uh, uh, systems and set up the PHP 8 SSL certificate, etc. So let's get started. This is a blog article. I just I'm just going to copy the comments here. I have tested all those comments, so it should work fine. I'm going to use Debian 12 for this example. So if you're using a different uh, variation of operating systems, try to like check for my other blogs because like after one year, if you come back here and then watching this, like you are trying with Debian 14, things probably not work as expected, right? So remember that the operating system that you're selecting for the virtual machine, that is also important while running these comments. So far, I have tested all these commands are running with Debian 12. So let's get started. I'm going to use Google Cloud here for running the virtual machines. You can use AWS, GCP, Azure, etc., or even DigitalOcean, all those things. The Debian version is available everywhere. OK, so let's create a new instance. And then um, we are going to choose the Debian here. So go here, go bottom boot digs and then choose to debian and then choose like debian 12 that's by default selected right and then i'm going to choose standard yeah. persistent digs select so i'm going to allow http https both are required Great. <clears throat> Might take around one or two minutes for setting up the whole process. So meanwhile, you can have a cup of tea or coffee like I'm taking now. So relax and sit down. Uh, uh. Looks like it's done. So what I'm going to do is like click on SSH. And then uh, open that in a new tab. That makes more sense. <clears throat> the Google Cloud using like uh, browser based SSH, that's very user friendly. <sighs> Compared to like Putty or other things, which is like you have to run a process in here, run the comments. That's what I mean. Okay. So <clears throat> here we are. We are using Debian and there is no warranty. That's good. We are not expecting any warranty. So let's go to our blog and let's copy these comments. So copy. Okay, sometimes my copy button is not really full, full, fully working, so you can just copy here. I like this, that's better. I will, I'm checking for a better WordPress plugin. If you know some plugin that can do the trick, let me know. So the copy plugin here, it's not really working. It's like, yeah, kind of buggy. Okay, it is uh, running <coughs> APT upgrade. That is that will take some time. What I'm going to do is like let me explain what what the next steps will be. I'm going to install uh, CA certificates, HTTPS, curl. If even if it's there, but I'm still going to install it. That's the like uh, courtesy so that uh, we cover everything, and then add the PHP repo to the repo list so that if this is done then we can just use this 
apt install php 8.1 to install the php 8.1 version okay it's still taking some time so let's wait i don't think upgrading it's necessary you can still avoid this or ignore this this is optional you can just only update and then install these packages so let's copy the next command let's prepare <clears throat> Okay, so that is done. So we have seen that the upgradation is completed. Let me make the font speed bigger, right? So that you guys can see what I'm typing. Now it's better, right? <clears throat> so clear the screen. The next part is, uh, sorry. I have to copy it again from here. Then I'm going to paste it. This is also going to install all those necessary packages like curl, HTTP, SC certificates, etc. The next thing is adding the PHP repo. So this is you also to copy and paste here. Failed writing body. Oh, what is the problem? So let's see what is what going to achieve. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I had to modify the comment. I will modify this because this this is actually two line. For some reason it became one line here. This is one, and then I copy the second part of the command. So I will I will make a new line here. Once you get it, once you view the video, it should be already updated. Okay, that is done. Now we are going to update. Make the fonts bigger here as well. <coughs> then should do it install. So this is the part where you can use PHP 8.0, 8.1, even the latest ones, latest series as well, like 8.2. Is it 8.2 available? PHP.net. What is the latest version? So 8, what? 8.3? Oh, that's good. So let's see if I can install 8.3. So I'm just going to delete that. And let's see 8.3, is it available? Yeah, yeah. So this is like configurable. If you wanted to use PHP 8.3, you can use just replace this one with three. And if the latest version comes up, it will be like four, five, six, etc. Hopefully this, this works in the future as well. But at this moment, I have tested with PHP 8.3 and that is also working fine. With this command, we can see that it's installed Apache as well. If you see, go up here. So, uh, 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 yeah. But it says that the following additional packages will be installed. What are the additional packages? Apache 2, Apache 2 bin, Apache 2 data, Apache utils, all those things which PHP common, CLI, opcache, SSL, all those things will be installed by default. So we don't need to install Apache here anymore. Apache is already there. Let me clear the screen. Now <clears throat> let's test the version PHP-V. It should show the version 8.3. That's good. Awesome. So we have successfully installed PHP 8. Now what I'm going to install is SSL certificate, right? So we want to SSL the, we want to have a SSL certificate. At first we need to point a domain. So what we're going to do is I'm, I am in my Cloudflare where I'm managing my domain, athiku.xyz. 
here I'm going to create a new record and the new record will be a record and the name will be um, Debian, right, Debian, that's, and then we need to copy the IP address. So we copy the IP address of your instance and uh, paste it here, disable the proxy, save it. <laughs> So we created a subdomain Debian dot article dot X Y Z. Debian dot dot X Y Z. Let's see if it's showing something. Yeah, this is showing the default Apache screen, right? Because we installed PHP, we installed Apache. Now let's see if we can view the PHP version from there. So let's go to CD dot 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 HTML, and then we are going to I'm going to use nano index dot php and then uh, we're going to php info control x y yes and we're going to remove the default index dot html so <clears throat> now let's refresh index.php, do I need to restart to system CTL restart Apache 2. Okay, restart Apache 2. What's wrong? Let's see nano. PHP. It looks okay. PHP. Strange. Resource. Oh, for some reason it's not running here. So, what's the issue? HPV 8.3. Okay, so um, there was, I think, typing mistake here. So what I did is uh, I didn't include the question mark here after the left arrow sign so that was my mistake so that has been fixed now and uh, this is php info if i go to the website it shows uh, a php version like 8.3 or something so that's that's good if we wanted to add additional php extensions we can do that by checking here whether it's installed or not for example if mysql is installed i think mysql is installed i guess okay so uh, mb string these are most common i think so no multiple degrees i'm using mb string this mb string i don't see that so zip xml you can check it by checking the PHP info here. That's not the point. The point is we are still showing not secure. So this is not a good sign. We need to set up SSL. So for SSL, we need to install Let's Encrypt. And uh, in Debian based Ubuntu, you have to use <coughs> like SnapD <coughs> to install this artboard. <coughs> so, so let's copy these two lines and then go to our terminal click clear and then run it. So this will install snapd. And then we are going to uh, copy this and this will install the start bot. Paste. Start bot has been installed. It will, it's going to be installed soon. There is no issues. <laughs> Once this is done, then you need to 
create a symbolic link so that user bean sad bot is referring to this particular folder. And the reason is we want to use sad bot like this. So that's why we have to create this symbolic link. Without creating the symbolic link, what you have to do is like you have to run this command directly. Like rather than sudo sad bot, we have to use sudo snap bean sad bot and then happens. Okay. Let's make life simple and easier. So paste it. <coughs> Now we are going to run this sudo sad but Apache because we are on Apache. I'm going to give some email address. I us to cut XYZ. Yes, yes. Domain name. So the domain name is uh, this Debian. Dot .xyz Debian dot dot xyz Good the certificate is installed and deployed now let's refresh Yes we have now installed the SSL certificate that's good, connection is secure and certificate is valid for three months, right? So this is February 24, May 24. What will happen after three months? It will expire and then you will get again the ugly, not secure side. To fix it, we need to use a cron job to regularly renew it. So this is the process of renewing and then this cron job will run every day 3 a.m. and then it will try to renew the certificate if it's expired, if it's going to be expired. You cannot renew now. You can only renew like one month, like last, within the last 30 days of renewal uh, period. So let's let's try to set up the Chrome and then go to our terminal, clear the screen, paste it. I'm going to use nano and then here this is our command copy it come down to the last line paste it save and that's it so you have set up the cron job so life is good you don't need to worry about the SSL certificate anymore like after one or two months, it will be automatically renewed for next three months. And then again, it will be renewed for next three months and go on. So as long as this server is up and running, you don't have to worry about SSL certificates. So that being said, this is what I can show to you how to install SSL certificates in Debian based uh, operating systems or virtual machines. So Debian is like very secure and uh, like highly professional. You can try Debian. And um, this is the way to set up SSL certificate, PHP, Apache over there. So thank you everyone for watching this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you everyone. Allah